Who appeared? Who appeared in this judgment? Matter. You appeared, Milots. You appeared for the petitioner, Milots. The insurance company. Yes, Milots. Perhaps the insurance companies may not like this judgment, <laughs> but we have to settle the law. Okay. Okay. In regard to the nature of the litigation, we have addressed our. <laughs> The parties would operate as a bar to invoke arbitration. <laughs> Secondly, <laughs> what is the scope and standard of <laughs> that an application under Section 11, Clause 6 of the Act 1996 can be subjected to when a plea of accord and satisfaction is taken by the defendant? And thirdly, what is the effect of the decision of this court in re interplay between arbitration agreements under the Arbitration and Conciliation Act 1966 and the Indian Stamp Act 1899 on the scope of powers of the referral court under Section 11 of the Act 1996? So just quickly, what we have said is thus. Even if the contracting parties in pursuance of a settlement agree to discharge each other of any obligations arising under the contract, this does not ipso facto mean that the arbitration agreement too would come to an end unless the parties expressly <laughs> agree to do the same. The intention of the parties in discharging a contract by accord and satisfaction is to relieve each other of the existing or any new obligations under the contract. Such a discharge of obligations under the substantive contract cannot be construed to mean that the parties also intended to relieve each other of their obligation to settle any dispute pertaining to the original contract through arbitration. Although ordinarily no arbitrable disputes may subsist after execution of a full and final settlement, yet any dispute pertaining to the full and final settlement itself by necessary implication being a dispute arising out of or in relation to or under the substantive contract would not be precluded from reference to arbitration as the arbitration agreement contained in the original contract continues to be in existence even after the parties have discharged the original contract by accord and satisfaction. Our final conclusion is like this. The existence of the arbitration agreement as contained in clause 13 of the insurance policy is not disputed by the appellant. The dispute raised by the claimant being one of quantum and not of liability. Prima facie falls within the scope of the arbitration agreement. The dispute regarding accord and satisfaction as raised by the appellant does not pertain to the existence of the arbitration agreement and can be adjudicated upon by the arbitral tribunal as a preliminary issue. For all the foregoing reasons, we uphold and affirm the appointment of Justice K. A. Pooch, former judge of the High Court of Gujarat, as an arbitrator to resolve the disputes between the parties. But what is important in this judgment is that we have clarified our earlier judgment in Ari Fazim. It starts, the clarification starts from Para 126, we have explained how Ari Fazim should now be construed or understood, more particularly in light of this pronouncement. And what is important is just one paragraph very quickly, we are running late. Thus, we clarify that while determining the issue of limitation and exercise of the powers under Section 11.6 of the Act 1996, 
the referral court should limit its inquiry to examining whether section 11 subsection 6 application has been filed within the period of limitation of three years or not the date of commencement of limitation period for this purpose shall have to be construed as per the decision in arif azim as a natural corollary it is clarified that the referral courts at the stage of deciding an application for appointment of arbitrator must not conduct an intricate evidentiary inquiry into the question whether the claims raised by the applicant are time barred and should leave that question for determination by the arbitrator such an approach gives true meaning to the legislative intention underlying section 11 bracket 6 capital a of the act and also to the view taken in ray interplay that's how we have decided thank you Any good. Everybody else, please circulate emails because once we breach the norm, then I can I cannot breach it only for seniors and I have to do that for everybody else. It it completely destroys the system which I have put in place. Everyone who has a request, please send me an email. I'll look at it by the afternoon today. No, this is not a listing request. Is not a listing. Anybody who does not have a listing request, some correction in an order, something is free to mention. There's a matter coming tomorrow. We're asking the review today to be put with that tomorrow. That's that's a request. That also has to go on an email. That's a listing. I put in name. Listing. If it's on listing, please don't mention. Please put it in an email. I'll look at it in the afternoon today. I promise you, I'll leave that. The same thing. When was the impugned order passed? By 19th, right? So we'll list it tomorrow. Your Lordship, I'm just seeing we'll it tomorrow. Okay, but you could have also said it in an email. Sorry. Uh, so a circulator rejoined. Uh, letter, circulator letter in tomorrow's matter listed at item 26. I'm for the respondent who just needs to find the we'll, we'll see tomorrow, yes. Because I'm mentioning a matter where I've already sent emails for us. Malaj, I've also sent it'll emails be dealt this with, morning. It'll be dealt with. Uh, this this morning, this morning also Malaj, meeting. Mr. Shwai, Shwai Balam, Malaj, my just, a, just a query. Would your Lordship be taking the part heard income tax matter? or uh, uh, Just your... wait. I, I've just told the court master. We'll, we'll tell you in a minute, yes. I'm sorry, I just one request. There's an order that your lordship said passed last week, my lord. It's an arbitration petition. Lordship, perhaps will recall note I had made a submission that the pendency or the reference to arbitration will not impact any criminal proceedings that we might initiate. Because our recollection is my lordship had dictated that in court, my lord, but it's perhaps not reflected in paragraph three, my lord. No, your lordship. Uh, we also said in the course of the uh, discussion Please not. that an arbitration will never affect the criminal prosecution. No, but I made that submission. I think. Our, All right. We don't have to put something. We don't have to put something. Clarify something which is obvious. Very well. So before we begin, what we are proposing to do is uh, that we have the income tax partner group. Uh, 
NEET is above that today. We'll at least open the NEET matter, and then we'll see what to do with the partner group. We'll hopefully start with the partner group, but it might just have to wait until we open the NEET matter because there's some uh, urgency in the NEET matter. Children, all young students all over the country are waiting for the outcome of this matter. So, but it's we are not going to lose season of the income tax matter because we are now also mentally we are in the matter. But may I suggest, uh, not since we have circulated uh, something yesterday, it can be kept tomorrow also. Let's at least open the neat matter today because you know we uh, were, we were, we they, let's see the matter. Okay. Yeah. Others can be discharged, etc. Many are procedural matters, item four, etc. Uh, so what we are doing is procedure number one, for instance, is about bifurcating that yeah. we'll take up item one. Right. So it's bifurcating matters, etc. That we'll pass That's procedural for, direction. For, for compliance like that, when you're not sure, right. we'll just for yes. Item one. item one is not bifurcating. Item one is a batch of cases on fringe benefit tax. Yes, the fringe benefit. Come on, tax. some other name. Yes. The the bifurcation is item the gaming matter, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Why is that listed for directions? Because item one is only this. No, there are two uh, appeals. Right. Right. Item one, right. The court master says that you know we have to pass the usual procedural direction for appointing nodal council so that they prepare one co one common compilation. So tell right. us who will be the nodal council. That's right. No, no, uh, Mr. Uh, I'll tell I'll tell my I'll give my AOR's name to your lordship's bench. Bro. And one from the department. So two of us can be there. Is, is there by a lunch time. For the department, is there a is compilation a, for the only yeah. for okay. So now tell us for the petitioners who will be the nodal council. Well, I can volunteer. Mr. Kunal Kishore can volunteer. I'm what you since you've already prepared. Manisha Karya have already our compilation. And for the department, uh, Mr. Baker Raman, are you appearing in the one? Okay. You're appearing. Who will be the nodal council there? Mr. Divakar. Mr. Divakar. So, Ms. Manisha Karya and Mr. Divakar will be nodal council, usual orders, and prepare one common compilation duly indexed with written submissions in terms of our last circular. And file it by what date will you file it? Mr. Datar, what, by what date will you file the compilation? Your Rajshmi is posting it in August or not, or July? Uh, we'll, post it, uh, we'll post it in August, so we'll give you enough time to file the compilation. You can file the compilation, including written submissions, by the 31st of July, and we'll place it in August. All right, so that one seal number one is over. That way, you know, we have just one compilation, so it becomes impossible to. Uh... Item two, item two, Millard, the canon matter, Millard, we have pushed a direction now. Yeah. That's where bench has to be constituted, and the act of batch of matter there. So, here also, can we have one compilation, please? Yes, yes, yes they can do a compilation. Right? So, yes. who will be the nodal council? I, I will. Charanya will be the. Uh, and from our right. side, V. Chandrasekhar Bharti will be the so, yeah. panel of. Karina Lakshmi Kumar and Mr. V. Chandrasekhar Bharti. And can you prepare the submissions and compilation yeah. by 31st of July? No, definitely. Definitely. So definitely. We'll, then we'll keep it in the first week of August and we'll take this up because a lot of matters across India are dependent on this. Pending. Thousands. The thing is, we may much more receive very much because this matter, the canon matter was passed by three judges. Right. Therefore, it has to be. It has to be three judges. It will be before this regular bench. Yes, it will yes. be before me and my two colleagues. So we are we are seized of the matter. As it pleases you. I don't see. Item three is the Google matter. Not, I appear for I appear for Google. My your lordship ah, recalls your lordship. What we have to do is, yeah, are the compilations ready in Google? Yeah. Yeah. Everything is done, but not give dates today in September. Today, Mr. Sarkar, only because we have the neat matter and you know, literally lacks no, no, in the country are waiting for the outcome of this matter. No, no, in September, Malad, give, give dates in September. Probably in the first week of September, so that we can continue. Malad, a little later, I have the Indus Valley dispute uh, before the neutral expert in September. Second first week of September, uh, after, after 15, Malad. After 15, after 15, anyway. Submissions, they can email. Submissions have not been received, the court master says, so you'll have to email them. That will make sure that are sorted. Why don't you give us? Why don't you give us on the side of Mr. Salve one nodal council? 